Hey, I'm Eliza. I'm here with Vikas from Play Eye, um, which is you create educational robots to teach kids how to program. That's correct. So awesome. these are robots designed for children all the way from five years old and above. And the goal for everything that we do is how can we engage kids at that age, at any age, to learn programming. And, and we've, we've learned from you know, a lot of research that we've done and research that otherwise has been published where tangible products are the best way to engage a young child and also to take the abstract concepts of programming and make it concrete for kids. And that's the reason we led to building the robot that we did. Awesome. And I want to bring them out because they're so cute. Yeah. Um, so their names are, this is Bo. Right. Yes, okay. this is Bo. This is Bo. He blinks. And this is Yana. Okay. How did uh, they get their names? Bo is short for robot. And okay. Yana is, you are not alone. Is So <laughs> Bo and Yana can interact with each other. They can detect each other. So um, that gives them being companions. That's the that's how we came up with the names. That's awesome. So, okay. So I'm a six-year-old kid. What What do I do? So let me show you what this robot's capable of. And the goal for us was to empower kids to do amazing things and, and to give the reward of what they do with the robot so huge that we can draw them into doing more and more with the robot. So um, here is an accessory for the robot, for both. And this robot is going to play us a little song. Awesome. There we go. Take a bow. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. How do you make that happen as a six-year-old? Um, so where, where we are um, <clears throat> in the land, where we come in the last one year is we wanted to build a robot that can be extremely engaging and fun for five-year-olds, six-year-olds, 10-year-olds, and for their parents. And where we still have work to do is some of the software interface that, that would let child children do some of these things. But where what we're able to do is take things like music, stories, puppeteering, things that kids are very familiar with, and translate that into programs that children can create. So, um, and the reason for some of those is program at the very basic level is a sequence of instructions. And what music gives you, that sequence that can be pretty long, that children are very comfortable with. So three-year-olds can tell you stories that can go long, and they have multiple characters in them. Children can sing songs all the time. And that's a language we've taken to make programming accessible to children. So one of the examples you can do is, hey, when you run into something, I want you to back up, go back, you know, wiggle your head, oh, tail cool. a little, and go. Yeah. Now, what I just did is kind of just puppeting the robot. That can become something available on my touch device to say, hey, now I want you to do that every time, so remember it. So that's a way to program as well. So puppeting becomes a way to program. If I press a button, it will go forward. Cool. So, so you can now weave um, kind of events mm -hmm. and actions in a way where you can start telling stories. So we've seen kids do things like, hey, come up with, Bo went somewhere and it heard a sound, then it got scared and turned away. So I don't know. I think people would kind of start seeing these guys as pets or something. Yeah, I mean, I, child's imagination is fertile. And right. we've seen kids, people, <laughs> kids call them to. adults. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, so yes, and I think we want these to be whatever they want it to be. And right. the goal is with little things like, you know, for example, decision to have the eye sequence, uh, eye being animated and being able to move the head, mm -hmm. just that was done to give it enough character and personality that we can see it be many different things. Right. So we do want people to see them in many different things. Got it. Awesome.